Now, first time you open Logic, you are presented with this screen. Now let's start from the bottom. On my templates, you will have the templates that you have created. As you can see, I have nothing. On project templates, you have the Logic stock templates that are different for its genre. On demo projects, you have complete productions that you can take a look, very interesting. On tutorials, well, you have tutorials, but you are already watching one. On starter grids, you have templates for live loops, which we will have a look at a bit later. On recent, you have all of your recent projects. And lastly, oh, you have new project, which is the one we want. And we want the empty project, not live loops. Now, this will create a new blank project. So we select that and then we go down here and click on details uh, to expand the options. Now, don't worry much about that because um, almost all of these preferences can change when we open the project. The one that you shouldn't change after you start working on a project is the sample rate. And I usually do 48 these days, but the rest you can change. So tick on use musical grid. That will have your bars be divided into note values. So quarter notes, eighth notes, whatever you want. Now you can type a tempo or you can simply just use the arrows or click and drag or you can just simply tap it. Now underneath that you can select a scale, a time signature, your input and output but you already know how to change those inside the project. A sample rate and which I always use 48 these days and frame rate in case you are working with moving image and lastly spatial audio which came with the very last update of logic and surround format which can go all the way to 7.1 right that's it let's choose let's click on choose then this new track window pops up now you may be seeing five different types of tracks but it's essentially just two audio tracks and midi tracks now, I will get into all of this a bit later, but I just want to show you the interface first. So, let's select audio and then click on create. Now, that creates an audio, a blank audio track. Now, oh, a small tip. This is, this is just like Ableton and it's very helpful when you're starting out. So, click on this little question mark here and that will open this quick help window here. So, when this is open, when you hover above anything, you get the name of what it is, some basic information, and the key shortcut. 